It's rolling up to the Murray certified pilot. It hey, don't what about uh, paper cartridges shit. Oh, you know we need to do bird club. RT and you run those numbers up, man. Break down and subscribe to us up the like button. Let's uh go ahead and jump into um into uh today's shindigs and see what we got. See what we got. This is criminal justice reform at its finest. Uh, this is really removing barriers for people who have made a mistake in the past. Cleveland City Council President Blaine Griffin says many people are gradually changing the way they feel about marijuana. And yeah, why was I rolling with small ass J's like that? Uh, for the past couple of days, bro, I've been rolling. I've been rolling J's using these uh these zigzag um. Arthur Thins. And them shits come out small as fuck just like that, bro. Local lawmakers want the laws in Cleveland to match. Wednesday, Griffin, Mayor Justin Bibb, and the city's law director and prosecutor filed a motion at the municipal clerk's office at the Justice Center to expunge 4,077 records of marijuana convictions. Griffin. Oh, that's, that's, that's dope. Um. Is that 4,077 individual cases? Uh, let's, let's go through. Griffin says expunging those records will have a great impact on thousands of lives. Nonviolent conviction, and now they have an ability to work without this being on their record, record because it's going to be expunged. They can qualify for federal programs because now this will be off of their record. And more importantly, um, they can just live without the stigma. In 2019, the city of Cleveland passed a law eliminating fines and jail time for possession of low-level amounts of marijuana. How much would they consider low-level amounts of marijuana? And look at all that goddamn purple. It's a, 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 a big-ass purple forest right there. Council President Griffin also points to a national push to legalize marijuana on a federal level. He says right now, people with misdemeanor marijuana convictions on their records can miss out on many things that include qualifying for federal school loans. Or people who might have forgotten they had this conviction several years ago and actually went to get a job and wasn't able to get employment because of this kind of conviction. Yeah, then <laughs> nobody forget they had no weed conviction. How high you gotta be to forget you got a weed conviction? Like, like everybody know, you know what I mean? If they have been convicted of weed, that shit, that shit don't, you don't forget no shit like that. Um, people don't know this, but when you get these kind of convictions, you can't qualify for some social programs that you need. The motion filed Wednesday would apply for possession cases of 20 grams or less under one ordinance and 200 grams or less under another. That's dope. That's dope. Um, yeah, that's that's all low level shit. I mean, twenty twenty. That's just motherfuckers buying buying dimes and half ounces and shit. We are going to continue to look, um, you know, further, and we only did from two thousand and seventeen through uh, two thousand and twenty two. Uh, so how far back are y'all going to go? Are y'all going to go all the way back to the sixties? Like, y'all y'all not about to do all that shit. Uh, we only did that period of time, but now we want to go back even further. In Cleveland, how far back are y'all trying to go though? Kevin Freeman, Fox 8 News. Yeah, I wonder if they do go all the way back to the 60s. I hope they do. I hope they do. I hope they even go back to the 50s, bro. We was, we was watching some shit and shit and seeing somebody, a uh, 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 story about some guy in Texas in the 70s who ended up getting like like 40 years for like trying to move two pounds of weed. I mean, that's, that's a lot of weed for the 70s. But but still, though, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like yeah, bro. That's just, that's just a long ass time, bro. Just be dank, bro. That's crazy. Um, all right. Cleveland, 4,077 expungements. Yeah, bro. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, somebody in there, um, in the bird club is on that list, bro. If you want to listen, got your shit expunged, let me, uh, let me know. Let me know how it went, bro. Is, is your life a little bit better with that expungement? You know what I mean? Uh, 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 taking that marijuana conviction off your list or is it or is it the same regular ass tuesday <laughs>